Next, we'll move down to agenda item 12, is keep land by loss to beautiful. We have a presentation by Mr. Strickland. Actually, uh, this presentation is going to be uh, given to you by Mr. Uh, Carl from Yankee here before our board members. Okay. Yes, sir. Good morning, board. My name is Carl and Yankee on behalf of Keep Lounge by Austin Beautiful. Lounge by Austin, Keep Lounge by Austin Beautiful is a nonprofit 501c3, which are affiliates of Keep America Beautiful, also Keep Georgia Beautiful. We compose of one full-time staff person and a 12-member volunteer board. Our funding comes from the land bill, which our budget also comes from the county. And this is a tipping fee. It is not part of the general budget. It is a separate budget. The owners of this land bill owner charge a tipping fee for every state that dumps there. Up to three states dump in that land bill. And from that percentage, they give the county, the host county, which is the Lowndes County, one dollar of that. And that's what our budget is comprised of. Our mission statement, to promote environmental stewardship and beautification by empowering individuals through public education. Keep Lowndes White Austin is an annual program where we have numerous events we hold within the city and the county, which include Bring One for the Chipper, the Great American Cleanup Earth Day, and other events of that nature. This slide right here shows a running tally of all events and our totals from 2000 up to our present day. Where you can see here we have an itemized detail of all those events. And for our grand total, we've had 11,090 individual volunteers which have accumulated 1,055 tons of trash and debris and those include over 2,000 tires, 200 appliances, and 14,775 Christmas trees, which is a staple of the community. All residents of Lowndes County like to come out and donate their trees to this service. On this slide is our cost benefit ratio. In fiscal year 13, for every dollar that we've allocated for our budget, we produce $3.48 worth of in-kind services. <coughs> from my volunteers of Lambs County. On this slide, you will see our fiscal year 2015 budget, where we again have an itemized detail of all expenses that we occur. And at the bottom, if you look, you see we have a number of items that are at zero right now. This is going up with the due to every you know, everything in the world gets more expensive, and we work with a tight budget as it is in the beginning. And also on this slide, Part of the reason why a lot of those items are at zero is because when we moved from the county building into the city building, we incurred expenses for being located in the city hall building, which accumulated $2,258. Now this takes a big chunk out of those zero itemizations where we could plan for travel, volunteer luncheons, which is very greatly appreciated from volunteers They helped them aware, keep, keep awareness about what's going on with the city, and so they will come out and keep continuing to help the city and the county. This is a slide from my Make a Difference Day 2013. At the request of the county, we went to a retired military veteran's house where over the years he accumulated a, a, a well amount of trash and he was unable to maintain it. And we planned our sole county event for his residence and on this day, we collected over 20 tons of trash and debris. This is also a picture from one of our many Make a Difference days. Since our last budget increase request in 2008, which was turned down because at that time, the county felt that we didn't do enough services for the county. So since then, we've had made a concerted effort to do equal events for the county and the city. We've been working with the same budget since our inception in 1997. We haven't had any increase. <coughs> it's only getting harder. Our budget is getting stricter and smaller every year. And we've already had a number of items reduced to zero. And at this point, it seems like it might hurt us or affect us even more. So at this point, us as a board will come to a decision. We'd like to ask for a 15% increase in our annual budget or whichever is feasible to you all. This would not come from the county's general budget. It would come from the tipping fee, which is separate from the county budget. 
At this point, I'd like to, on behalf of the board, say thank you to the commissioners for taking the time to listen to us and thanking you for joining us in our efforts to keep Lounge by Austin beautiful. And we hope that you continue to help and support us along the way. Thank you. Thank you. Okay.